It's a season for healing. It's a season for change. To see miracles happen and no one can fathom as heaven invades. The church looks different than it ever has. This beginning of 2021, I saw that things that happened that were very demonic, that were trying to come against the church, right? And I said, it's not business as usual anymore. It's now time. And we all need to give ourselves, the, we have to check and say, hey, am I really building God's kingdom or am I sometimes sticking my kingdom in there with his kingdom? And I said, Lord, I just want to build your kingdom. And if they ever try to shut the church down, I want to be able to set up church anywhere. I don't know what that is, but we're going to keep going because we're just going to ignore that. I said, Lord, I'm believing you for a bus and a sound system because those are the most expensive things to do music. And I begin to put my faith out there. I went to my team. I said, we're believing God for a bus and a sound system so that we can begin to start bringing people to Christ. We can start focusing more on evangelism. The Great Commission. Is this all right, Pastor Greg? I put my faith out there. And it's a big statement because buses are so expensive. I get a call from a preacher a month later. He says, I want you to come do a concert at my church. A preacher I look up to. And he says, and he just told me, so when you get there, I want you to take the pulpit and let the Lord move through you. And I respect this man. I've been following him since 2006. His name is Keith Moore. And he said, he 
said, one more thing, when you come tomorrow, he goes, I want a question for you. He said, what do you believe in God for? You don't ask a person of faith what you're believing God for. Because I was like, well, Brother Keith, I feel a call to do, go into deeper into ministry. I'm believing for a bus and a sound system. I go, I do the ministry. He said, Brother Danny, we're going to believe with you and we're going to take up an offering and believe God with you for a bus. I am... Um, <laughs> I said, okay, well, I get there, we do the we do the, the ministry, it's beautiful, God shows up. The church calls me and said, we raised $200,000 for a bus for you. I was like, praise the Lord. So I start looking for a bus. Well, if you're in the bus industry, $200,000 will get you about a 1997 almost working bus. So I just begin to say, this is a start. I want, I, I, so I'm in the room. I'm writing this song. Actually, I got the details mixed up. But anyways, as I'm writing this song, I stand by faith. I live by faith. I receive by faith. I believe in faith. The church ended up writing me a check for a million dollars total. I bought a sound system. I bought a bus. Listen. This is the next phase. What I'm saying, ministers and, and even people. Because God has now birthed this new ministry that we are now doing. But that's not my point. Because I already know what God's doing through that. I'm trying to speak to the people who have a big dream for God. Or what God has put in their heart, but they don't see how they're going to do it. Yeah. Your confession needs to be this. I walk by faith. If he called me to do it, he's going to provide me to do it. What was so pivotal about this. And I know you're doing this. Someone shared a testimony with me about how you bought a building. I couldn't, I'm like, this is happening all over in the body of Christ. When God calls you to it, I'm just saying position yourself. Because this has catapulted me to the next stage of my ministry. But God wants to catapult believers to the next stage of the ministry. Yes! I believe that this is a sending off. This is a sending off. Yes. Let's begin to declare. So what are you believing for? Waymaker!